Hello there, welcome back to Roax, my lifestyle channel. Today I have a vlog for you, um, and it's a little scattered of just things that I was up to a couple weeks ago um, that I just kind of threw all together. For the past month or so, I've been really trying to focus in on uh, making a little extra me time each day, and the easiest way for me has been my mornings. Um, it's spring and summer and so where I live my garden is in full effect <laughs> and it's time to really take advantage of this weather um, with gardening so it's also been a little bit of an excuse for me to escape and have a little bit of me time not always because sometimes I always have a little one with me or an animal with me <laughs> while I'm tending to the garden but um, my mornings have been my peaceful time to make myself my latte and go outside and um, tend a little bit to the garden I don't do anything too crazy it's just more so my Zen time it's kind of taken over my meditation time I definitely want to bring that back um, and eventually kind of have both but it is a time for me to kind of rest my mind while keeping my hands busy in my garden and it's so peaceful especially being around things that are blooming and growing and the excitement I feel when I see new things starting I know I've showed uh, clips of the garden but I was devastated <laughs> whenever I realized that most of my seeds weren't taking this year. I planted a little too late in the game. It's really tricky here. And so I did have to get some starter plants, unfortunately. But I don't know, still crossing my fingers, hoping that uh, some of the seeds will still come through for me. But we did get some cucumber starters. We got a zucchini. Or a couple of zucchinis. There actually was two in the one, so I was able to split it and make two plants out of the zucchini. There was one squash, the heirloom squash. Then there's a couple jalapeno. Then we got a few of the bigger tomato plants as well as starters. I'm really hoping that some of my seeds do come through because I really want cherry tomatoes this year. And yeah, I planted a whole lot of strawberry seeds too. I just don't know if any of them are gonna take, unfortunately. I've been really enjoying this peaceful time being outside and just trying to find my inner peace, especially with the state and events that have been going on. Um, from tragic events, uh, Mercury being in retrograde, and my mind just being unable to pause. I have definitely found my mornings in the garden, my little safe haven, and if you're feeling the pressure too, all I can really say at this point is just hang in there. Now, it's been a few days, but I decided to chop my hair off. <laughs> you may have not noticed in any past vlogs, because I don't think I've really showed myself fully, or they've been clips where when I am in them, my hair wasn't cut yet. I've really been needing a change with my hair and I thought this was gonna be a bigger change. It definitely is lengthwise for me and having shorter bangs again. I just took off some inches on the bottom all around and then um, I recut my curtain bangs, making them a little bit shorter again because they really grew out. My hair grows so fast. But Revlon sent me over some of their uh, color stay dye and I chose the bright one to like really amp up my color. If anything, I've been wanting to do something like really bright orange or something really bright red for the summertime. So I don't know. I thought that this would scratch the itch a little bit, <laughs> but my hair it turned out being almost identical to what it is normally. Um, it's actually a little bit more shiny auburn in places, but it still is really close to my natural hair. I'm still itching to go a little brighter and bolder with it being the summer, but I haven't pulled the trigger again just yet. In May, Roman also finished the second grade. He also brought home a couple of plants that he started at school, tomato plants. And so since I had an area where I planted tons of strawberry seeds that didn't take, that I know of so far, I hopefully they don't start sprouting in around his tomato plants, but um, 
it was perfect. I had some in my garden bed free, so he got to plant his tomato plants that he started at school, and he was really excited about it, but he did so well this year. It's been the best yet for him, and I'm so happy to be able to say that, because uh, he's had some really tough years adjusting, and getting there socially. He's come out of his shell more and more. He's already missing his friends and most of all his teacher. He's really missed his teacher. And if anything, it really shows that he had a great one by wanting to have her again for third grade. <laughs> With the spring rainy weather, it has cooled off again and I find myself craving soup all over again just like winter. I've also been working on some projects that have made me full swing into spring cleaning. And with that, the amount of dust buildup and the pollen outside with my mornings outside has just caused my allergies to go insane. So, chicken noodle soup it was tonight for dinner. Thank you for watching my little life update. I am currently vlogging um, for videos that you guys will hopefully see soon, but I tend to get ahead on the filming and really lack in the editing and getting these up, obviously with this little May vlog. <laughs> but I still hope you enjoyed. Thank you if you did watch, and I'll see you in my next video.